all right what's going on guys i'm back at it again with doing uh, another do-it-yourself video this time i'm doing it on something of my own and this is relates to just about anything that does with lights on a trailer i am actually redoing some wiring on a brand new trailer that i haul my atvs on um i bought the trailer brand new knew there was going to be an issue from day one but for the price of the trailer i was like i'll deal with it cheap fix but if you're not familiar with wiring on the trailer you're not familiar with trying to you know when you buy a trailer of things to look at even new or used this is one thing that if you see it on your trailer and you can help it uh if, especially if you buy the trailer when you get home take the time fix this issue so today, and sorry for the mess in the sunlight out here, but today I want to show you something. A lot of people go to the extent of using these connectors right here. So what this does is you take, say for instance, if this is the turn signal, brake light or whatever, to ex connect a light here to your existing wiring they take and use these reason is is because it's quick and easy downfall is that when you do this and I'll see if I can do this with one hand there we go when you do this it becomes an issue and I'll show you just what that issue is I'll get you set up here for a second and get this clamp off Do, do, do. they're a pain in the butt but don't know how well you're going to see this but see this is how this this operates and I'll open it up one wire goes in this part you can either do it here and here or you can do it one from each side this metal piece when you close this in close this it crimps it and allows the current to continue through both wires from one to the other the problem is is I'll show you in a minute because this is is either you crimp it put your wires in shut it and it breaks the wires in half or due to it chafering around hitting bumps on the road it actually cuts through the wire and what you're going to find out like I did on this trailer even knowing what the issue is I've used this trailer four or five times and a couple weeks ago when I had this trailer coming back from riding ATVs it was uh, raining and one of my guys in our riding group called me and said hey man you don't got no trailer lights and it was pouring so I pulled over found out that on the right side that one of my wires and I'll try to get you down here one of my wires was broken completely in half now you see how this is this one's fine it looks fine now this one when they did it they barely got the end of it that I mean that's that's nothing to bite on that that's losing connection it's it wouldn't last much longer so on the other side over there it was crimped like this one and it completely from uh, bouncing around stuff completely burnt the wire in half so an easy solution to this and I'm sitting on the ground trying to do this is uh, I got a couple of these to show you is you can use butt connectors some people will be like oh well you should shrink wrap it and all that uh, put shrink on it and all that stuff I'm not, I'm not concerned about it it's not for a boat trailer the little water ain't gonna hurt it. It ain't gonna get the corrosion in it like it would on a trailer. Another thing, all you need are your splitters. Now this one does crimping and everything. A lot of people don't. Some people don't might not realize on here. There's a red, blue, and yellow. So the red, the 22 to 18 means the gauge of the wire. Same thing with these, and it's also color coded. So if I'm gonna crimp with a blue. I'm going to go to the, because uh, this will go up to a 14 to a 16 gauge. I might want to use it because my wire is not, obviously, not that thick. I'm going to actually be using 
something very a lot more smaller versus to give you a comparison here the size this one is about triple the size of this one so all you do is since this one alright split and it's going to be a pain just because I'm videoing this take it pull it off all you need is about that much sometimes a little more I do things a little my own way do a little different than others so what I do is I crimp it over like that and the main reason I do that is because when I push it in here like so and remember blue is the center and I squeeze it down some of these are famous and I always tug test it like this these are always famous for the wiring to slip out either it's not the perfect fit or whatever so if I double uh, loop the end push it together put it in there crimp it it fulfills that whole circle up and I know I have a good clean uh, bite on it now this one has another one right here I'm not concerned about that one right now because of the fact that it's actually one wire running completely through another wire meeting up to it and prior to this I already checked it so what I'm doing today because of time and I'm trying to get ready for a fishing trip for tomorrow is I'm just fixing the problems and right now I'm just splitting cutting this back right now because it's too short to go over top to show y'all but I'm going to go riding Saturday that's what my wife wants to do now we got a babysitter for Saturday for our daughter and she hasn't got out to ride in a while so I'm trying to make it where I'm legal and everything works properly for that ride and then sometime next weekend or in the future I'll come back and finish it so what I'm doing here I don't know if y'all see it but what I'm doing here Stick another one in here. Blue hole. Perfect size for the gauge and everything we're using, doing. And I'm squeezing and I'm making sure I get the very end. And I do one just in the center, even though it ain't necessary, but, and I tug test it. I make sure I pull and make sure that these wires ain't because sometimes you not pay attention and the wire might slide out your hand just a hair and when you go to crimp it it actually crimps right here and then it pushes the wire back out a little bit and when you go to do this it comes out so no need to do all that work just to find out that something ain't working and you go crazy trying to back feed that but this here save yourself time uh the time and patience of i know a lot of people use these and they love them but this right here is going to get you nowhere in the long run it's a short term fix that's all it is you're on the road or something traveling you need to fix a light have a couple of these pop it in fix it a wiring problem and you keep going this is more of a long term fix so there might be a lot of y'all be like uh this is all simple i already know how to do it well there's some people out there that really don't know how to do this and might be discouraged because it's electrical it's nothing to it all you're doing is taking one of these out all you got is two wires and you're just using a butt connector to replace those two wires simple as that guys no biggie no uh no stress to it and if you mess up or whatever you can always you cut too much or whatever you can always add a little extra wire or just get two pieces of wire practice on and everything but that's what it looks like right there it's good it's connected and everything and i show you part of my problem was this ground this is your ground wire it was over here you notice i don't have a nut on here i almost lost this light as well but luckily when i stopped at a gas station a guy had some tools because for some reason don't have my toolbox in my truck yet again but uh 
I put a ground wire, put it over here and tighten this down to save from losing that light because when you're on the ground you got no lights. You have your ground and your power. And you look over here, this was the one I had to reconnect and you might be able to see it where the wires are all juked up in there. And that's because it broke off this one. You can see you can see one wire poking through and you can't see the other wire poking through. So it's probably the same way as on that other side over there that uh it's caught on the tip. Another thing is is see like this one here, it has come on clipped. So if that comes on clipped, this wire comes out and hits this fender, it's gonna arc because that's your power and you're hitting the ground. And another issue, if I can show up, find it again, is see right there, right here. I don't know if you can see it as well. That wire is being pulled out. So soon this marker light ain't gonna work, and then soon I'm gonna have a hot power wire dangling around in here. And if it hits a little spot that has a little tiny surface rust or something like that, where the paint's been chipped or something, or hits this screw and this whole trailer is grounded out as well then you're gonna blow a fuse in your vehicle or you're gonna uh, cause some other electrical problems so and how they got this dangling here is tells me how they do a rush job on these trailers they're mass producing them and quality is not their priority unfortunately but like I said, the trailer being new was cheap for the size. That's the only reason I bought it. All this stuff here, I can fix myself. I mean, all the lights are ran through here. The way they got this wiring run through here, it's going to chafer on here. It needs really like these little plastic rubber pieces on those two. But I'll fix all that. And you can see where the, the coating has come off. On one of those wires but all the wires all the way through all around this trailer I got crap all over the trailer has this connections and um and if you, you have a problem with your uh, wiring and you have these up there and you can't figure out what's going on and see I'm gonna show you something else right here that wire is squished right here so that tells me that somebody messed up putting these on them the first time so this jumps around and gets caught up around this metal you're gonna have a serious issue all this should be tucked up and it shouldn't be doing this this is what the winds gonna do and when the winds doing that it's moving stuff it's chafering the wiring up in here and it's bouncing all these around and all these are just gonna come off so I just made this video with hopes to help somebody out if you have any questions uh drop it in the comments or uh hit me up on facebook uh at va adventures i got a group page up there you can uh, uh private message me or if you're doing a project like this or something uh i'll video chat you i'll talk you the way all the way through it um, I got another project right now. I'm waiting on the parts to come in and then I'll release that. It's actually on a full wheeler for a buddy of mine. It's a Raptor 700R special edition. So I'll be releasing that soon. Uh, I got some work to do on my boat. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm switching out my prop. I nicked it last year on a sandbar. I'm switching out to a four blade though. That should be in the day. So, don't know when uh, the full wheeler video will be uh, worked on, but I'm going to have plenty of fishing and everything for y'all. So, I appreciate y'all's support and wa watching the videos and the comments that I get from y'all guys because uh, it keeps me wanting to keep making videos for y'all. So, till next time, and if, like I said, if you need anything, hit me up and I'll help you out. That's what, the, that's what I'm here for.